you back to my YouTube channel. It's time my Irvy. I'm here, you're here, and those pain ass bitches are over there. Okay? So let's get started with this YouTube video today, honey. Okay, so boom. So today we're gonna be doing a story time on my DL date going wrong. Okay, so boom. So I'm okay, so I'm not really gonna give you guys an idea. Well, I'm gonna tell, so I'm gonna, t okay, so this happened a minute ago. I'm not gonna say when it happened just because, like y'all know, I don't need anybody putting the pieces together. Okay, so boom. This is a DL story time. So, of course, nobody can know what's really going on. Okay, so boom. I mean, y'all gonna know what's going on, but y'all just can't know who it is. Okay, so boom. So, we gonna name him. What do I want to name him? We gonna name him Bucky. Big no Buffy. We gonna name him Big Buffy. Okay, because let me tell you something. This was the worst experience ever. My worst date ever. Like we were like, so we were like in the face of dating, but we weren't going out. So, we were really just in the phase of talking. Now, I need you girlies and you guys to comment down below, was I in the wrong? So, in my eyes, I think when you're talking to someone or you're just going out on dates, you aren't really committed to each other. You're not boyfriend and girlfriend. That's how I look at everything. So, everything blew up on me because he told me that... I shouldn't be doing that. And basically, he said a whole bunch of negative stuff about me. But we're going to get all into that. So, was I wrong, you guys, for still talking to other people while me and him were on the phase of just, like, talking and dating? So, let me let me know how you really feel and what you guys think down in the comments. And you guys, so boom. So, Big Buffy. So, as you guys know, I'm always on the dating app. I met Big Buffy on the dating app. Boom. So, Big Buffy is from the Bamas, okay? Big Buffy is from the Bamas. As you guys know, I do live on a panhandle of, um, in Florida. So, the Bamas is, like, right across the way. Like, I got Mississippi, no, I got Mississippi, the Bamas, New Orleans. I mean, what else is close to me? I don't know. It's just a lot of states that are close to me because I live on the panhandle. So, boom. So, Big Buffy, you know, we met on the dating app. Now, he was cute. Let me give you a little backstory on Big Buffy, okay? So, Big Buffy, he's tall. He's like 6'2", 36. He has his own business. Um, He does. He has um properties and he has a, um, a lawn care service business. So, boom. So, you know, Big Buffy definitely coming in with the coin, coming in with the racks, okay? So, he was cute, you know. The only thing about Big Buffy is y'all going to get to the, y'all going to, y'all going to say that I'm petty. Some of y'all may find it funny, but I was, like, so irritated with this whole situation. So, boom. So, the only thing about Big Buffy, though, is Buffy don't have teeth. On this side and on this side, and then missing one on the bottom. Boom. Keep that in mind about Big Buffy. So, um, so yeah, so but you know, other than that though, I mean, he was pretty well or man, you know, that's just the way everything is. So boom. Um, so you know, we start chatting on our um dating ad. We were on the um Meet Me app. Uh, Meet Me app is a straight dating app, but well, really, I think they got the option now where you could say, you know, you're um, a transgender or whatnot. I don't really remember, but when I got on it, I don't, I didn't see that option, but I don't know. They're, they're always changing stuff on that app, but it was originally a straight app. So, boom. Unless if there's another version that I'm not aware of, but that's the version that I was aware of. So, boom. So, you know, we was check, texting on the app, you know. He was asking me about me. I was asking a little bit about him. So, our first date, you all, our first date 
we went to the movie theater, you know. Then after that, we got some takeout and we went back to the hotel room. Now, I usually would not go to a hotel room on the first date. But given the fact that everything was going smooth and in the place that we went to go get some food, they were about to close so we couldn't sit down. Then I um, didn't want to eat in the car, so we just got a room or whatever. I did not spend the night. I did come home. And no, we did not do NTT. Okay, honey? So, boom. So... Um, but so during, but during the first date though, everything was going good. He was telling me that he has, you know, properties, he has a business, um, you know, he has two kids with two different, um, ladies. Um, and then I was just telling him a little bit about me, you know, I'm 21, I'm an upcoming artist, you know, boom, about the bam. I do YouTube, I model, I do all this stuff. So, everything went well. He was polite. He was giving me very so much Southern vibes, which I love. And before I get into this story, one thing I will say is Southern dudes, they really do have that Southern hospitality. Like, all the Southern dudes that I came across make love to me. You know, they kissing on my stomach, you know, looking like that girl. Kissing on my feet. Like, they really want to make you feel good. Versus, like, up north, my experiences... And maybe it was just where I was located up north. But my experiences was very so much... Come on, girl. Let's just get this stuff going. Let me get this quick fuck. And bounce. Bounce up. Okay? <laughs> but it wasn't like that down here. But, you know, I always made a man respect me. Whether they was on their knees looking my feet and my legs. Or whether they, or it was just a quick, quick boom back to bam. So, boom. So that's happened. Um, oh, y'all got my mic. I'm not even using my mic. We're not gonna use my mic today, okay? Not today, cause this story is about to go real serious. Oh, and I got my nails too. I got my nails. Well, I always have my nails done, but I got the um Halloween nails. You guys see? Yes, yes. Let me get into bubble. So boom. So um, anyway, so let's fast forward a little bit, cause <laughs> I'm trying to get to the part where. I just went off, right? So, boom. So, but everything went good, you know. Hold the door for me. Open the door for me. Although, I did have one dude up north that was kind of southern. He had that southern hospitality. And I'm not saying that the guys up north aren't good men. But these are just my personal experiences. So, boom. So, anyway. So, Big Buffy, you know, he was good. Like, no signs at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, um, that's when, um, we went a couple days after that. We went to a restaurant. Then we went and we went to go sit on the beach. Um, he gave me, he was giving me money. Then eventually I went over to his house. So everything was going good. You know, I even went to his other property to help him clean up in the Bama. In the Bamas, yes, in the Bamas. So, um, because he was, you know, he had an Airbnb or something. So, you know, everything was going smooth. We were so this is where, the, where this is where it gets crazy at. So we were on call. And um he was like, well, what are you doing, you know, this and this and this and that. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm not doing, you know, anything major or, you know, nothing, you know, crazy. I was getting to be meeting up with one of my friends. So he asked me, well, who is your friend? And I told him, you know, it was a dude. And so he was just like, um, is this somebody that you know you're, you're sleeping with or, you know, what's going on? And I say, this is somebody you know that I, you know, interact with, you know, sometimes, you know. Now, when we first start talking, me and Big Buffy, we already established that we weren't going out. But at the same time, what I will give him is we didn't say that, oh, well, even though we're not going out, we could still, um, sleep around and mess with other people. But even though we did not state that, we weren't going out. So anyway, so what had happened was, so he was just like, well, that's just the whole to me. 
Excuse me? Who the fuck do you think you could talk to like that? Talking about that shit's the hoe to me. So I'm like, what do you mean that shit's the hoe to you? Right? And he was like, well, you know, we've been talking and stuff. So why is it that, you know, you're seeing other men? And I said, first of all, I won't go one guy. What are you talking about, other men? Second of all, we don't go out. So, like, he was like, well, you're just a hoe. He said, well, we're still talking. We're in that phase. You're a hoe. He said, no man wants a lady that's a hoe. He said, I want me a, respect, a, 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 respect, a respectful lady that is going to care about her man. And this, and I was interested, but we're not dating. And so, he was like, oh, Sonia, he was just like, Carl, he just kept, let me tell you something. This man called me a hoe at least a hundred times throughout the time we were on the phone from the time that he just kept texting me, being shitty. So, anyway, so I was like, okay, well, um, I see, you know, you feel some type of way, so I'm just going to, you know, get off the phone, whoop out the band. I get off the phone, and he wrote me a paragraph saying, you know, I don't think this is going to work out. He said what he was saying to get on the phone. No man wants some lady that's a hoe. Boom, 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 boom. And I said, well, I don't understand why you keep calling me a hoe. When for one, I do have a couple of men that I do, you know, see which you are one of those. But, I mean, we're not together. You know, and it's not like I lied about anything. I mean, when we first start talking, I mean, we just said we are just going to be going on dates and stuff. So, anyway, so he was just, like, still sending me um, messages and messages, showing me um, videos about how to be a lady. Like, just real childish shit, like, you know. And it was just, like, okay. So, I left him on red or whatever. And I started texting him back. Then, the next day, he texted me again. He said, I can't believe that you came out to be a hoe. And I said, why do you keep calling me that? Like, stop calling me that. So, that's when he just kept calling me a hoe. He was saying, oh, you're going to catch STDs. You're, he was like, I hope you get raped. All of this extra crazy evil shit towards me. So, he just kept saying this shit, saying this shit. And so, I texted him back. I said, if you don't want to keep talking to me, why do you keep texting me? He was like, because you're a hoe. He said, you know, I'm tired of you girls, this and this and this and this and this and that, coming around and girl just explaining himself about how he was feeling, but he wasn't doing it the right way. So, anyway, fast forward. Um, actually, hold on. Let me backtrack a little bit, right? So, he was talking about our future plans. He was saying that, you know, if we were to be able to come a thing, he would want me to run his business. As far as taking calls, hand, handling paperwork, because, you know, that's just something that I know how to do and I'm really good at it. You know, I'm a good communicator. So, that's what he wanted me to do. Now, I remind you this this part that I just told you all about that. So, fast forward, I told him, um, I, I was like, you know, why do you keep texting me if I'm a hoe? If, you know, I'm, all of these things you wish, all of these things happen to me, why are you still steady texting me? And he was just like, because I want you, he said, me being an older man, I want you to understand that no man is going to want a hoe. And I said, okay, I'm just going to leave this guy on. I'm not going to keep texting him because one thing about me is I'm not going to keep going back and forth about some shit that it's not going to get solved. You feel one way, I feel one way. You said what you said, I said what I said. So, boom. Um, then he went on, and then so I, I started texting him. He still texting me every, every, every day until it got to where I, um, he called me and I cussed his ass out. He's calling me too, and I'm not picking up. But I'm going to tell you about the part when he called me and I cussed him out. But hold on. Before I get to that, he, then he went on to say, well, I don't want you anymore, by the way. You missed your opportunity, and... No man is going to want you. But, and this is like days in after we already established that 
I was seeing an ugly man. So he's still texting me at this point in time. So it's a, um an early morning. And so um I wasn't um what day this was can't give you guys all the details, but about when it when it actually happened, because then some of y'all gonna put some shit together. But anyway, so um so then he had called me and this was the day that I was supposed to go on to on work. And so I had called in, you know, I had called out, you know, because I wasn't feeling so well. And so he had called me and he was like, um, and I said, hello. And I said, what do you want? He was like, I just don't understand how you host. And I said, hold on, pause. Let me tell you something. Now, remind you, I told you that this man had no teeth. Right, so I said, hold on, let me tell you something. You're saying that you want me to get raped, you hope I catch STDs, I'm gonna hold all this out the bam. You, and you're saying that you're a grown man. First of all, you are not a grown man because you don't know how to communicate. For one, you already said what you had to say. You already said your piece. You already said that I was a hoe. But that wasn't even the right way to go about it anyway. For one. Two, you're saying that, oh, you're trying to set an example and this and this and this and this and that. You're not, you're not communicating well at all. At all. Saying all of this negative stuff towards me, you know. And then for you to say, oh, you want me to, um, oh, and then he was like, well, he was like, well, you know, I would want, because he said he wants him a housewife eventually. And, you know, that's when he, we were talking about me running his business. And he was like, you know, because I need someone, you know, to talk on the phone and do this and this and that. That's not my specialty. Of course, it's not your motherfucking specialty. Because you don't know how to talk to people, you know. And if you don't know how to talk to your... If you don't know how to talk to people in general or... Um, treat people right. Yeah, people are not going to want to work with you. People aren't going to want to do business with you. So, of course, you don't need a housewife or someone to run your business because, bitch, you don't know how to. And, yes, I was calling him bitches and all on the phone. You don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to treat people good. You, you're, you're not going to have employees like this. It, 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 like this. With this type of tone, attitude, your gestures, you're, you're just not. So, I was going in on him. Saying you're not a grown man, you're a little ass boy, you know. In my eyes, you I don't give a fuck about how old you are. You're 36, going on 37, whoop out the bam. You don't know how to communicate well. And I said, you know, I said you want to know something. Else? The reason why you don't have any teeth in your mouth, you have some missing teeth in your mouth, is because you have a nasty ass mouth. You have a fucking nasty ass mouth, girl. I was reading this man like through from A to Z, and I said you're lonely as fuck. Because you don't know how to treat people. I say you want you a, an obedient housewife or a girl that's going to do as you say. And I'm not here for it. You know, of course you're lonely as fuck. You don't know how to treat people. So you're going to be lonely as fuck, fuck. And you're going to continue to be lonely as fuck, girl. I was reading his ass, girl, back to back. And I said, thank you for the coin, you know. And I hung up on his ass and I blocked his ass. I don't know why I did not block his ass. A long time ago. But I just thought he was mad. I was letting him calm down. And he just would not give up on me. So I finally answered the call. And I read that motherfucker. Like a motherfucking dictionary girl. I read that motherfucker. So that was just the time. That my DL date. Was a piece of shit. A thumbs down. So. I know some of y'all may say, oh, I was wrong for still, you know, talking to other people. But at the end of the day, though, we weren't going out. And I'm a loyal person. And I don't need to really justify my actions to anybody. I know what the fuck I did. And if I don't, I don't really feel like it's wrong. I'm a loyal person to my friends and to my future husband. If I ever get one, if somebody can ever, you know, meet me at where I'm at because I'm going a long way. And I can't have no shitty ass people around me. You know, sometimes people just can't keep up with you, you know. And 
it's really it really comes down to the way you treat people you know your goals and all that stuff people really just can't keep up with you you know it don't matter how far a person he was saying oh he has all of this stuff and whoop out the bam honey you're 37 years old you should have all that stuff you know what i'm saying nobody one thing about me is nobody could ever make me feel jealous about what they have because for one i'm a genuine person so it's not going to phase me because I know who I am and I know that I'm going somewhere. So you're saying that you got all of this stuff is not going to make me feel any different because I have a goal that's going to get met with or without you, you know? So, and that's a problem with people. People think, oh, this and this and this and this and this and this and that. I got this, I got that. Won't ever make me feel some type, type of way because... I have my own stuff that I'm going to be working towards, you know, and I'm a genuine person. I'm a loyal person. You can't get me like that. I'm sorry, but, you know, like I always tell people, you have to be a genuine, loyal person because you like, you, you, you're not going to have people in your life, in your corner, you know, and I, like I always say, you know, you're losing me. I'm not losing you because I know that my intentions were good and I did what I thought was right. And that's just all I could do. You know, anything else after that, I mean, falls on you because, I mean, I already told you what it was. So, boom. So, that's just that on that, you go. And I hope you guys are having a marvelous, marvelous, marvelous day, honey. And remember, no matter how dim or bright your light is, always let it shine, okay? So, until next time, I love you.